from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. When the game opened on Monday, the Tigers were a 10-point favorite. This morning, Missouri was a 13-point favorite. Well, sorry, Vegas. Much like my prediction before the game, you were very, very wrong. <laughs> senior night at Missouri, and that senior right there, Ish Witter, wouldn't just run onto the field. He would be running all over it. Second Mizzou drive, better yet, just caught the Ish Witter drive. 22-yard carry for Witter into Tennessee territory. And then one play later, Witter gets the ball again. 14 more yards for him. Ish Witter literally carrying the Tigers down the field. And then he carries them into the end zone with this seven-yard touchdown run. Witter accounts for 70 of Mizzou's 82 yards on the drive. But if you thought Mizzou was running away with this one, not so fast. Drew Locke here drops back and gets picked off by Nigel Warrior. He goes running in the other direction, makes a cutback, and that's going to go 70 yards for the pick six. Tennessee and Missouri now tied at seven apiece. Locke on the bench. He's upset with himself, but he says, I'm going to get those points back. And here he is off the play fake. He finds his buddy Emmanuel Hall for the 31-yard scoring strike. What a two of those two have been lately. Tigers back in front by seven. Inside one minute before the end of the half, the Missouri running game sets up another score. This time it's Larry Roundtree who says, hey guys, don't forget about me. He goes running around the line and goes rumbling 64 yards down the field to the Tennessee eight-yard line. Then Missouri gives Roundtree a chance to cap off the drive from two yards out. Here he is, and he punches that one in. That gets the Tigers back up by 7, 24 to 17. Second half, Locke finds his go-to deep ball target again. This one to Emmanuel Hall for the 50-yard touchdown. Locke's 11th TD pass of 50 yards or more. That leads all of college football. Late in the third quarter, Locke through the air again. Here he finds Jamon Moore, who breaks the tackle and finds the end zone on his senior night. Mizzou just pouring it on now, 38-17. to And the Tiger defense gets in on the fun as well. Will McBride for Tennessee drops back. He finds himself into some trouble, and he throws it up. And that's Anthony Sherrills, the senior, who comes down with it off the tip drill. That would basically end Tennessee's night as Missouri not only covers the spread, but they also get a huge SEC win, 50-17. to From college to high school we go. High school football playoffs continuing throughout mid-Missouri. Earlier today, we had some Class 1 action with the West Tran Hornets hosting the Monroe City Panthers. West Tran riding high after a four-game winning streak coming into this one. It was a defensive battle early on with a scoreless first quarter. Then Monroe City's Blake Hayes looks for the deep pass but runs into a bit of trouble as it's intercepted by West Tran's Avery Hammond. West Tran carried their next drive into the second quarter, and it's Alex Young who looks deep, but he finds his target, Chris Evans, in the end zone. That's a 29-yard catch to open up the scoring. Hornets go up 7 to nothing. But that lead did not last long. Next drive, Monroe City responds with a 67-yard rush from Zachary Osborne. The Panthers would take the lead on a successful two-point conversion, 8-7. to seven. This was the start of six unanswered touchdowns by Monroe City. Gage Bottoms and Osborne each had a pair of scores, and Monroe City picks up a huge road victory. West Tran falls 44-7. to seven. Monroe City plays East Buchanan in the Class 1 semifinals next weekend. More high school football scores from around mid-Missouri. Eldon falls to Mount Vernon 24-6. Blair Oaks can't get the win at McClure, or Blair Oaks does get the win at McClure South. They take this one 32-16. They'll play Maryville in the next round. And North Callaway unable to get the win as they lose to Clark County 33-7. Final day of the Hawkeye Challenge for the Missouri women's basketball team. Today they were faced up against the Quinnipiac Bobcats. And Missouri gets their first win of the season. They defeat Quinnipiac by double digits 66-51. Jordan Frerichs getting off to a really strong start following last year's season-ending injury. Yesterday she scored 24. Today she follows that up by leading all scores with 23. The Tigers will ride that win back to Columbia. They face off against Wright State this upcoming Thursday. Back to the news desk.